Oi, you smackheads. Are you ready for my smacking review of Red Dwarf? I hope so. Well, let's get the smack rolling. Hi Smackheads, and welcome to day 13 of Comedy Month, where I'm going to be talking about Red Dwarf, the classic British TV sitcom that ran originally on BBC Two between 1988 and 1999 for eight series. Yes, I'm only focusing on the first eight series here, created by... Doug Grant and well, just okay. I think I've got that wrong, but host um hosted created by Grant and Naylor, and set aboard the mining ship Red Dwarf. Three million years into the future, mainly. Starring Craig Charles as Dave Lister, third technician and local slob. Arnold, sorry, I mean Chris Barry as Arnold J. Rimmer. The hologram of Lister's dead bunkmate. Danny John Jules as the cat, a life form that evolved from Lister's pet cat Frankenstein and well first Dave Ross and then Robert Llewellyn as Crichton a mechanoid that they save in series 2 and wow well, Norman Lovett and Hattie Hayridge as the ship's computer, Holly. And it's to do with... The misadventures and the uh, sometimes adventures of the gang, of the crew of... The Red Dwarf and then Starbug as well when it's introduced in Series 3. As they go through space. And as I said, it's set 3 million years into the future. And across the original 8 series, there were 56 episodes, if I remember correctly. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. But this is the way it all went down. Series 1 to 6 were, all, were 6 episodes each. So that gave you the first 36 episodes. And series 7 and 8 were both 8 episodes each. So, actually, scratch the 56 episode comment. I've now realised it's not actually that number. 36 plus 16 is 54. So, yeah. There's 54 episodes across the original A series. But, now, if I was to also... Briefly now, just count Back to Earth 
and series 10, 11 and 12, the number then goes up to, to, um, to 73. So, because it's also a special that ended the whole thing. So that's 74 altogether. But we're going for series 1 to 8 only. And there are some episodes that stand out amongst all of these. And here are some of my favourites. Ouroboros. Now, through some kind of paradox in this episode, we learn that Lister is in fact his own father. Awkward. Okay. And yes, before you go asking exactly how that's supposed to work, ask the creators. They're the ones that came up with it. <laughs> okay. Now, um, Backwards, which is actually the one I was first told about that actually kind of also got me into the show. This is where they uh, go through a wormhole into a universe that runs backwards. And it's just hilarious. Come on. If this episode itself doesn't sell you on the show, then I don't know what will. And then, of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the very first episode. The one that sets the whole thing up. The End. Which is set entirely aboard the Red Dwarf. And introduces us, not just to these characters. This is before Crichton was introduced, by the way. But not just to Rimmer and Lister, but the rest of the Red Dwarf mining crew. Including Captain Hollister and Christine Kachansky. And yes, it was sneaking his cat on board and hiding her on the ship's I think it's like in the shift ventilation, I think, um, that actually led to um, the rest of the crew dying and, and Lister being sentenced to what was supposed to be six months in stasis, but then ended up being three million years. Yeah, so... Everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody is dead, Dave. Now, I think I've told you enough about the show and given you pointers on three of the many episodes it comprises. Go and give it a watch. As I, I recommend it. It's a brilliant show. And I will see you for the next one of these. But you won't find out till tomorrow what it's going to be on. So, until then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And have us a magical time.